Hello and welcome to Synth Studio. I'm Chris and today we're going to be talking about the Roland MC101 and more particularly the accessories I have found through much too much trial and error work for me to make this groove box much more portable and usable on a long-term basis. So without further ado, let's get into it. If you're familiar with this device, you're probably also familiar with the Roland TR6S. Now the TR6S is almost the exact same form factor, but for now, know that all of these accessories for the Roland MC101 will transfer over just fine to the Roland TR6S. Now, let's get started. So the first and maybe even most important accessory for the MC101 is having a stand. What I wanted to do was angle the MC-101 up a bit, and the first accessory I'm going to recommend is actually already attached to my 101, and it is this stand. It's made for laptops, but you can see here that it's perfectly sized for the 101. And then you simply take a fingernail or something and you just pull up these feet. It's got two sets of feet. This is the angle with the large feet, and here's the angle with the small feet. Now, this stand is very easy to use. It opens and closes very quickly and easily, and you can see it's so slim, it really stays out of the way. It does come with an adhesive back where you can stick it onto your device. I did have to make a small modification to the 101 in order to get this stand to work perfectly, and that was to remove these pads. You normally have these pads on the back side. I believe there's two, maybe three of them, and I removed those. On the end of each foot, there is a pretty significant rubber coating. It feels quite robust. It's, it's a nice sticky rubber, and it definitely uh, goes a long way to helping the MC101 not slide around on the table. There's also, uh, if you've got them folded flat, there are feet on the ends and those have a slightly higher profile. So when you set the device flat, it still has nice rubber feet contacting the surface at the rear of the device. When we add the angle to the MC101, because the headphone jack is on the front of the device, with the headphones I had, I noticed that they were just sticking out and just kind of hitting the table and not allowing the 101 to sit quite flat. So I recommend using a right angled headphone jack to avoid your headphone hitting the table. It's made out of aluminum, it's very sturdy, it doesn't feel like it's going to break anytime soon. It also comes in two colors. I obviously have the black. You can see how well it blends into the finish of the 101. The Zupro laptop stand costs about $15. There's a link in the description. The next item might be the most important of all of the accessories. Let's get into the Topo Designs tech case. The first thing to mention is that this is a very unusual size. It fits the 101 absolutely perfectly. It doesn't feel like you're squeezing it in there, and it also doesn't feel like there's too much room. So let's go over the basic features inside and outside the case, and then we'll look at how the device fits inside the case. So on the front, you have this sort of little loop. I'm not sure what that's for, maybe a carabiner or something. You've got a simple pocket on the front where you could put some earbuds or cables and inside it has a keychain lanyard. If I go to the side, you're going to see that there are two main zippered compartments. And those compartments each have a double zip on them, which this is one of my favorite features. Let's go ahead and open the first compartment. As you can see, the zips are very smooth and easy to use. On the left, we have a full-size zippered mesh pouch compartment. And then on the right, just an open spot with one big elastic band, and that's for holding down your MC-101 or whatever device you might put in there. Now, let's go ahead and go to 
the rear compartment. This compartment is a little different and I really like that they've uh, made two different compartments. You get one more mesh pouch, but more importantly, a different configuration over here. So if you have kind of a large thing, maybe this is like a camera lens cleaner or some pencils and pens, you get this kind of center elastic loop, double loop. And then here you get kind of a mole style set of four elastic loop areas. These are great for if you've got some larger cables, say a phone charger, uh, something like that. And then you have this flat sort of envelope style uh, pouch, which would be great for a device manual or something. The tech case is made out of 450 denier coated nylon. It also has a DWR finish, which means that it won't uh, survive being dunked in a pool for an hour, but it will survive being uh, walked through the rain or getting a splash here and there. It's a three and a half liter capacity overall, but I don't think you really feel that in this bag. You close that up, you can see the back is just plain, but then on the side you get this fantastic carrying handle, which works great. And that is the Topa Designs tech case. Now let's look at how the device fits inside the case. I typically put it in this first compartment here. Fits great, let me zip it up and show you a little bit of how much space is around there. So the device is inside the case now. I could very comfortably grab it by the handle. You can see it fills out the case really nicely without a lot of extra space going on just a tad. Um, on both the front and back panels, there is some padding. Now, the tech case from Topo Designs retails for $59. That's not a cheap bag. There are alternative, more affordable solutions out there. This is by no means the only option. For me, after I got the MC-101, the missing pieces of the puzzle were vocals, mixing, and mastering. I went on a crazy man search in order to find a device that would make up for all the things that I couldn't do. And that device is this, the Tascam DP008EX. This device obviously does multi-track recording, but more importantly, what it does that a lot of other digital multi-track recorders don't do is it actually offers pretty good mixing and mastering effects. While this is never going to replace, you know, Pro Tools with a full fab filter effects suite, this can definitely get you to a SoundCloud level demo from the comfort of a cafe or an airplane seat or what have you. Both of these devices fit quite comfortably in this fantastic topo bag. There you have it, a full production studio in a bag. I don't think this is very easy to beat in terms of a portable setup. It's light, it's tiny. How much better does it get? I think this is a great setup. I've experimented a lot with this, worked on some music myself with this setup, and it's a lot of fun having all hardware, no software, just in a box or a bag. Now, it's fantastic having all of this power in a bag, but what good is it if you can't actually power it? In terms of key accessories, you need batteries and you need a battery charger. The Amazon Basics high capacity rechargeable batteries are the best bang for your buck. These have a very high capacity, they're reliable, they're affordable. I bought two sets of four batteries so that I could have uh, always a backup in my charger, which we'll get to in a moment, and then also a set in my device. Now, both the Tascam recorder and the MC-101, they both take four AA batteries, and so two packs of these is just about perfect. I'm very, very happy with these. I've gone through several cycles of charging, 
and that's where I want to get into this charger. A battery charger might not seem like such an interesting accessory, but when you're looking for something reliable, portable, versatile, this is just about as good as it gets. Now what makes this battery charger better than others? Its size and portability, flip down plug, it's very handy. You can charge one battery at a time in these slots. Most small compact chargers like this actually require you to charge two uh, of the same battery at the same time. You'll notice that there's two negative pins here. That's to let you charge a AAA size as well as a AA size. The device also has indicator LEDs that show you the charge status on a per battery basis. That's really nice. I've used this charger to charge these batteries for tens of cycles at this point. It's been perfectly reliable, very easy to use. This Panasonic battery charger will set you back about $15. It's comparable to most of the other similarly featured battery chargers on the market, but I think this one gives you a higher value because of the features that I mentioned. Those are my four primary accessories that I can't live without when I use my Roland MC101. If you find something you think is a better replacement for one of these accessories, please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your opinion. If you have another problem that you've solved using an accessory for the Roland MC101, please share it here. I'm always interested in learning more about how to make my MC101 a little bit better. If you're interested in any of these accessories, I've got direct links down to them in the description for this video or on the blog page for this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. See you next time.